When you buy your food for the night, you yeah. get... Oh, I get takeout. Okay, and I'd call it a takeaway. A takeaway? Isn't like takeaway somebody taking away your stuff? Like stealing? <laughs> takeout. Takeaway. Hello everyone, today's lesson's about British and American words. And luckily, I have Super Agent Awesome to help me. Thank you so much, Vicky. I am so glad to have you here. <laughs> and are you British or are you American? I am American. And I'm British. So together, we should be quite good. Yeah. Now, where is this baby sleeping? In the crib. And I'd call it, in British English, a cot. That's a crib. This is what we'd call a crib. What? Now, what's this baby wearing? It's wearing a onesie. And I'd say it's wearing a baby grow. Crib. Cot. Crib. Crib. Onesie. Baby grow. That's a rowboat. And I'd say a rowing boat. A jump rope. We'd call that a skipping rope. This is a slingshot. Ah, and I'd call it a catapult. Rowboat. Rowing boat. Jump rope. Skipping rope. Slingshot. Catapult. And what are they? Oh, yeah, they're cookies. And I'd call them biscuits. She's using a stove. Uh, and I'd say she was cooking on a cooker. That sounds like a tongue twister. A cook cooking on a cooker. Cookies. Biscuits. Stove. Cooker. So, what building is this? I would call this a movie theater. And I'd call it a cinema. On the top, what's that thing outside? A marquee. We might call that an awning in British English. For me, this is a marquee. It's an outside tent. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's a tent to have parties in. A movie theater. Cinema. Marquee. Marquee. Party tent. What's this guy wearing? He's wearing a watch. And what else is he wearing? He's also wearing suspenders. He's not wearing suspenders in British English. He's wearing braces. Braces? Aren't these the metal things that go on your teeth? Ah, we do call those braces as well. And so do you. Let me show you what suspenders are in British English. See the red things? They're suspenders. Suspenders. Braces. 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 Suspenders. Oh, we got garbage bins. Okay, I'd call them dustbins. So what's their job? Trash collectors. And I'd say they're dustmen. A trash can. And I'd call it the rubbish bin. Trash or garbage bins. Dustbins. Trash collectors. Dustmen. Trash can. Rubbish bin. My favorite. Candy apples. And we'd call them toffee apples. Candy apples. Toffee apples. Math. Okay, and I say it in a similar way, but I say it with an S at the end. Maths? Yes. What are those blue marks? Oh, they're called check marks. We'd call them ticks. Wow. Math. Maths. Check marks. Ticks. We call that beets. They're beetroots. They're called herbs. And we'd call them herbs with a H at the start. And this one we call oregano. Oh, uh, we call this oregano. Beets. Beetroots. Herbs. Herbs. Oregano. Oregano. They're called sneakers. Normally we call them trainers. And I don't know if you have these, but in schools in England, a lot of kids do their gym practice in these shoes. What? They're called plimsolls. Sneakers. Trainers. Plimsolls. You've got an American one and a British one. Oh, wow. I call that a mailbox. In British English, it's a post box. At the bottom of a letter, there are some numbers. What are they? We call them a zip code. We have postcodes. Mailbox. Postbox. Zip code. Postcode. Okay, so we finished. That's it. Bye. Whoa. Wait, Vicky. We forgot to tell them to subscribe. Oh, okay. 
If you really like our videos and you want to stay informed on this channel, then hit the subscribe button below this video. It's the red button. That's it for the video. Soapy Agent Awesome here, signing out. Peace!